When the offender doesn't appear in court, or in the event that they do come to court and receive a probation period, and they violate those terms of the probation, a bench warrant is issued for their arrest. Many of the warrants on file at the Sheriff's Office are this type, and we know that someone viewing this program can help us clear some of them out. Our goal, hopefully, some of these persons going to the beach can be picked up, or maybe they can stop by our office and turn themselves in to clear up some of these warrants. On August 20th, 2013, Deputy Chad Hartsman stopped a 2007 Nissan for a minor traffic infraction on Route 301 near the outlets. The driver, Glenda Marie Townsend, was found to be operating the vehicle on a suspended license. She was issued citations and released on her signature. Court date was set for October 28, 2013, which she failed to appear and a bench warrant was issued. The address she provided us at the time was 622 Northwest Street in Dover, Delaware. Sources indicate that she may have moved to 100 Eaton Lane in Milton, Delaware. Townsend's 34 years old. She's a white female with blonde hair and may have a large tattoo on her back and left side. If you have any information, you're urged to contact us. Back in January of 2010, the next individual was stopped on Route 213 while driving a 2003 Oldsmobile. After a check with Motor Vehicle Administration, was found that he was driving on a suspended license. Anthony Kevin Todd failed to appear for his first trial date, was located and arrested, and then failed to appear the second time in September of 2013. Todd's a 26-year-old African-American male, 5 foot 6 inches tall, 160 pounds. He has a tattoo on his left arm, A-Town. The warrant has his address as Main Street in Graysonville, but he's had other addresses in Federalsburg, Salisbury, and Crompton. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're urged to contact us or send us that anonymous tip. In 2005, Terry Marie Smith was stopped and charged with DWI as she was driving on Route 304 near Fogwell Road outside of Centerville. At trial, she pled guilty and was placed on supervised probation before judgment. However, when charged with contempt of court in April of 2005, she failed to appear. Terry Smith is a white female, 57 years old, 5'5", five 110 pounds. The warrant listed her address as Old Country Road in Severna Park, Maryland. It's reported that during this time, Smith had a lot occurring in her personal life. At some point, she left her children with family members and never returned. The family was able to file a missing person report on Smith and believed that she was living in a residence outside of Denton, and indicated that at some time she wanted nothing to do with her family. Since then, no one has seen her. Terry Marie Smith has also gone by Terry Marie Williams and had some ties to the New Jersey area. In addition to the Sheriff's Office wanting to clear this warrant, her children are reaching an adult age and are searching for her as well. If you have any information on the whereabouts of Terry Marie Smith or Terry Marie Williams, please contact her office as soon as possible, or at least reach out to her children and let them know she's okay. Two recent arrests are directly related to your tips. Both of these men have been profiled on this show and named as our Friday Fugitive on our Facebook page. John Gilbert Barnes was charged with violation of probation and was taken into custody on July 2nd. James Robert Stephenson, charged with violation of probation, turned himself in on June 25th after his friends had called him advised that his warrant was being posted on social media sites. I want to applaud you for doing the right thing. Thanks for clearing this up. Stop for speeding near Arrington Road, Amber Marie Smith was found to be driving a 1994 Nissan with a driver's license that was suspended. The stop occurred on May 26, 2008, with a trial scheduled for September 2008. After she failed to appear for district court, a bench warrant was issued. No longer at her address in Silver Spring, Smith moved to North Carolina and may now be living in the Nashville, Tennessee area. Smith is a white female, 26 years old, 5 foot 6 inches tall, 180 pounds with blonde hair. In August of 2004, DFC Mark Meal stopped a 1980 Buick on Route 18 near Manabee Creek Road and identified the driver as Sean Robert Roderick of Virginia. A computer check indicated that his driving privilege was suspended in Virginia. That means he can't drive in Maryland either. He was issued citations and later released. After going to court, Roderick failed to pay his fines and court costs and was charged with violation of probation. At the time of the initial stop, Roderick was living in Norfolk, Virginia. But our internet searches indicate that he may have moved to Chesapeake, Virginia. Records on file show Roderick as a 46-year-old white male, 
five foot six inches tall, 165, brown hair and hazel eyes. At the time of this stop, he stated he was working as a carpenter. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're urged to contact Virginia local authorities or send us that anonymous tip. Stop for speeding on Route 304 near Dean Road in February of this year. Aaron Nicole Raker was found to be driving without a driver's license and was arrested. When her trial date in May came, she didn't appear and a bench warrant was issued. Raker was listed as an address in Mersenburg, Pennsylvania, and she may be from Wyoming. Raker's 28 years old, she's 5 foot 8 inches tall and 180 pounds. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. This person may have ties to the area, as we believe she may be living in the Maryland or Delaware area. While crossing the Bay Bridge in October of 2010, the Maryland Department of Transportation Authority Police stopped a 1993 Ford for unsafe lane changing and found the driver, Stephen Richard Hartman, to be suspected of driving while under the influence of alcohol. Trial was scheduled for December of 2010 and Mr. Hartman failed to appear, resulting in a bench warrant being issued for his arrest. The warrant was sent to his address in Carroll County in an attempt to serve this at his last known address of 75 Palm Seta Court in Westminster, Maryland. However, this warrant was returned to Queen Anne's County because it could not be served. Investigation now leads us to believe that Hartman may be living in the Arnold area. He's a white male, 58 years old, 5'11", 195 pounds. If you have any information about his whereabouts, remember he's just right across the bridge. Give us that tip. Stephanie Hope Schnecker was stopped on September 28, 2001, while she was driving a 1990 Dodge on the Kent Narrows Bridge. Her traffic stop was for failing to secure her child in a safety seat. Her license status was checked and it was found that she was driving in Maryland on a suspended Delaware license. Trial date was scheduled on December the 3rd, 2012, and a bench warrant was issued after she failed to appear. Stephanie Schnecker is a white female, 31 years old, five foot six inches tall, 125 pounds with dark brown hair. She has several tattoos, both on her arms and her chest. Her most recent address is 309 Chestnut Street in Milton, Delaware. And according to her Facebook page, she likes for Hoboth Beach, Delaware and Ocean City, Maryland. At the beginning of this program, I said all of these warrants began with something as simple as a traffic stop and the one in person failing. As always, I wanna take this time to thank the viewers out there who watch Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted, the Queen Anne's County Commissioners and QAC TV for sponsoring this. But the most important person out there is the person who calls in that one tip. So many warrants have been cleared over the past several years, all because somebody thought they knew something and it panned out to be that wanted person. Thanks for watching Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. See you soon. To our community members, you can find Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted on our webpage, Instagram pictures, Pinterest pictures, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, as well as Google search. To the bad guys out there, don't worry, Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted will find you.